I'm Matt Platt. I'm Sean Walchef. And this is Own There. Phones. Let's go. You ever heard of Kentucky Chrome? Kentucky Chrome, no. So Kentucky Chrome is something that us people in Kentucky also <laughs> refer to as duct tape. <laughs> Kentucky Chrome. Kentucky nice. Chrome. I like it. So it's it's how we pinstripe our automobiles, you know. It's, it's oh, oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> nice. So classy. One thing that as a marketer, I'm constantly faced with is the fact that I can do the best job ever of driving people to a business. But there's got to be a you got to both parties have to hold up their side, right? Yep. And so about a month ago I walked into a Dairy Queen and the front concrete canopy Looked like, you know, it had him in pressure wash. I know it had been pressure wash in two years because the the COVID stickers on the ground. Another conversation, and I'm, it's disgusting. I'm like, how many people can't get past that first impression? Well, then about a week later, I go to one of my favorite pizza joints, and in the front of their front, right by their front door, they got this what looked like it was going to be a really cool like bourbon barrel flower pot that they had given up on and had become, they actually had a permanent, I got an ashtray place in it now. And there's garbage and ashtray and, and cigarettes in an ashtray. I'm like, that's disgusting. But then this one took the cake because, you know, not only did they do a poor job of building dividers between their booths and their restaurant, not only did it fall apart, not only are they a year plus late at taking them down, but they decided to put, Kentucky Chrome, a.k.a. duct tape, to hold them up. Now, Sean, you know as well as I am, like there's a lot of different demographics that up. There's, there's some people that would see that and go, I'm out. Like, what yes. the hell's going on here? So talk about, from a restaurant owner, first impressions with things like that. It's a great topic because anybody that's in the restaurant business understands that everything matters everything that's why it's such a hard business to be in i mean it doesn't matter where your business is located and we're off the beaten path in spring valley so we have challenges even before they even get to the parking lot perceived challenges of the area where we do business of is that safe can i bring my family there can i go there at nighttime you know should i bring my grandmother there should i bring my family there so we use social media to talk about the things that we do to make it safe. But once we get there, we have an old building. I mean, you've been to our building, you've been to Cali yeah. Barbecue. It's an old building. We're about to do a major renovation to build the Amazon of barbecue, to add more smokers, to add a media center so we can live stream on TikTok and YouTube, all of the barbecue production. But that doesn't excuse us from not caring about the details. Now, are there things that we would love to do? We don't own the building. So we lease the building. So are there leasehold improvements that we would love to do? Yes. Are there, do we have money available to just go ahead and make every single improvement that we want to make? Well, no, we're in the midst of signing a long-term renegotiation of our lease. But that doesn't mean that the things that you're talking about can't be addressed. Yeah. That means that operationally, Eric and Ian and Lisa and Steven can't address the things that we look and see and taste and touch every single day in our business. So, you know, it takes sometimes getting out of your business and getting a different perspective. You know, if you're listening to this, sometimes we're the worst judges of our own business. Get another local business owner to come and give you what we call a secret shopper. Just say, come to my business and give me a report card. What do you see? Yep. Because when we're in it, we're the worst people to see. Yep. Like for me, I'm trying to, to lose more weight in this, but I can't look at my own habits I need somebody to audit my habits. And what did I do? I signed up for an app. So it's like literally forcing me every single eat meal that I eat, every single thing that I do, I'm putting it into the app. Well, now I have a mirror looking back at me. So I'm not going to bullshit myself. Yep. We all need a mirror so that we don't bullshit ourselves. And sometimes we need someone else to do that. Someone else to come in and give us an objective saying, say, hey, Matt, you know, I came to America's Best Restaurant. I love what you're building inside. I saw the workout room, the ping pong room, but... You know, the parking lot, I mean, you know, really, you have all that trash. Like, I understand, you know, it's, you know, you're redeveloping, but all the trash, yep. you know, you got so many people, you got 50 people working in there. Can't somebody pick up the trash? Yep. 
And I'm not saying that that happened, but that's an example. Look out uh, the window. <laughs> one of my favorite, a little side story. My favorite, one of my favorite uh, stories in this book here, actually. It's uh, McDonald's behind the arches. Okay. It's the best business book that I've ever read. It's okay. my number one business book. Buying it this, right now. This is the book that they based the founder on. So the founder, uh, the movie was based off of uh, this book. But in this book, they talk about what Ray Kroc used to do. And Ray Kroc would go to his franchisees. And before he'd have a meeting with them, he would spend 15 minutes walking the perimeter of the McDonald's, picking up trash himself, Ray Kroc picking up trash. And he would go to the franchisee and then dump all the trash onto their desk. Say so this is fucking unacceptable. This is unacceptable. You cannot run a McDonald's franchise and not care about the details. And what we're talking about here is caring about the details. Didn't he do that in the movie and founder? Probably I remember did. him. Yeah, because there was the guy that was like an attorney. Uh, or something. Out, out of this whole story, there's so many incredible stories in there. I mean, literally, when you read this thing, you're like, how did John Love go through and get so many incredible behind the scenes stories of how this company was created? Fat, absolutely fascinating. And here, here's a here's a quick tip. I I took action on this ASAP because about three years ago I started doing this. When somebody tells me to buy a book, I buy the book. I just bought the that's book. A great, that's a great. That's you look that at is, if, you, if you take any kind of action. If somebody recommends a book, yes, buy, buy the book and read because people don't recommend books. That but when they do, when they do, it obviously made an impact. Yep. I mean, this is a book I'm 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 reading for the third time right now. Never lose a customer again. It's an okay, awesome I'm book. I'm adding that to my list. And I I I got into a habit about three four years ago where somebody would say, "Hey, oh, this is a great book." Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. And then I'd be like, "What the hell is in that book?" A week later, I right. literally buy my wife. You can ask my wife. We have two or three books a day. It's show up those days. It's literally if Rosie's just like, "What's your problem?" Like I don't buy anything. The only thing I buy is books. Yeah. Same here. Well, cool. First impressions, baby. First, First impressions. Impression. I remember that in the founder. I just bought that book. Can't wait to see it. I just, I'm sorry. I'm amazed that the number of businesses that somehow fail to realize number one, like what employee was trained that putting duct tape to hold yeah. a thing together is correct is beyond me, but it's there. And so as Sean said, find a mystery shopper, find somebody with a different set of eyes that can show you something that you might have seen 20 times. So you've glossed over. Yep. That's all we got. See you next episode. Own there. Bones. Bones.